I'm gonna talk about the latest motor that we have for offer here at Grin, and that's the Bafang G310. Now this is a small geared hub motor, nominally in the 250 to 350 watt power class, and it's the kind of hub that you'd have if you want a minimal level of assistance for a commuter e-bike. It doesn't have the kind of torque and power, say for instance of the larger easy motors or a big direct drive hub, but it's got pretty much the perfect assistance if you're somebody who has a decent commute and you want to boost for the hills or the headwinds, and you want to have the least amount of impact on the rideability of your bike as a bicycle. So this motor, it weighs just 2.5 kilos. One of the things that sold us on this motor is that instead of a screw on freewheel, it uses the modern free hub system, allowing it to be compatible with modern 8, 9, 10 speed drivetrains. One of the other features of this motor that we really like is the side exit for the cable. So it's pretty common in small geared hub motors that the cable comes out through a hollow center in the middle of the axle. And that complicates the addition of torque arms or axle hardware, and it makes the cable vulnerable to damage when the bicycle falls over. The axle itself is also round rather than flat with slots on it, and all the torque is transmitted in the bike dropouts from an anti-torque rotation washer. That allows the hub to fit all the way up into the dropout slot, ensuring that you have proper alignment of your disc rotor to the disc caliper, and it makes it compatible with bikes without the need to file the dropouts for the motor to fit inside. But the best feature of the motor, and the reason why we're so enamored with it at the moment, is its silence. It's very common that small geared motors like this make a buzz or a whirling noise as a result of the planetary gear reduction to step down the high speed of the motor to the lower speed of the hub shell. This one has a planetary gear reduction as well, but the first stage of that reduction has spiral cut bevel gears instead of straight cut gears. And those spiral gears mesh continuously without the common buzz that you're used to hearing. And that enables this motor to run as silently as the direct drive motors, but with the benefits you get from gearing, namely a smaller motor able to still produce a reasonably high torque output. So we've got this motor now in three different winding speeds, for, suitable for 26 inch, 700 c 20 inch, and even 16 inch wheels. And it's also available both front and rear. So we can have a whole family of hub motors with the same characteristics appropriate for your bike. So you use a front drive if, for instance, you have an internal gear hub on the back. But if you have a rear bike with a conventional derailleur system, the rear motor, given that it's using a modern cassette free hub, is really quite appropriate. The small diameter of this motor helps with the stealth factor as well. So it's actually more or less the same size as a standard 32 tooth cassette free hub and sandwiched between the free hub on one side, the disc rotor on the other. You can barely even see the motor on the back of the bicycle and with the totally silent drivetrain, nobody can hear you buzzing as you fly by. Whoa.